Well, hello everyone, and welcome back to another video. My name is Ocarina of Time 42, and we are on, I want to say, episode 16 of our Terraria world. Last episode, 15.5, we ended up getting our world to hard mode. So, I'm gonna go ahead and jump right in. So, up here is a chest with all the stuff I managed to do in between episodes. I went into the dungeon and ended up getting some more things, like this which makes me immune to curse, keen magic missile, an aqua scepter, uh, mending vitamins, uh, two alchemy tables, I got a few more keys, I got a pirate map to summon a pirate invasion, I got a blue moon, which I think is really nice, got a few bomb fish, and a lucky cobalt shield. Now, I also got nine pearl wood crates that I said I would open, so that's what we have. We have 19 cobalt ore, some cobalt bars, lucky sailfish boots, uh, can run super fast, can run super fast, they're, they're pretty much the same, I'm gonna guess. Some iron ore, armored sailfish boots, lesser healing potions, wild tsunami in a bottle, uh, journeyman bait and some lead ore. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn these all into ingots, and then I'm going to, I don't know, explain a little of what we're planning on doing here today. So, if I'm going to be honest, I really don't know what we're doing today. Also, when exploring, I did notice that there's now corruption in the jungle over here. So there are two sources of corruption in our world. And I started to look some stuff up for how much the corruption, like, what I have to do to get rid of it. And to get something that I have to do to clear away a lot of it requires... Oh, wait, no, no, no. Yeah, no, the thing I need requires me to be at least one mechanical boss. So we are not doing that. However, there is a weapon that I really want to get. The Orange Zappinator. It cost 50 gold. So what I'm going to end up doing is probably grinding for a little to get gold. So I'm going to actually get a chest and set that as my gold chest. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and start grinding. Well, I am gonna grind after I put some things into my uh, inventory, because I did try out the blue moon some, and I tend to use it like this and only occasionally throwing it like that. And I also did use Magic Missile a little. And I didn't really use the Aqua Scepter. Anyway, I'll go back to grinding now. So just by doing a little bit of grinding, I already have two more gold. However, I have a much better way of grinding that I ended up doing once with my friend. Uh, to do it, I will need some materials, but we have loads here, so that's not a problem. I'm just gonna use mud, I guess. And I also want... Let's see... Rope, for once. Or was it rope, or was it a platform? I think it was just a platform, never mind. But, I'm going to go ahead and... I think, like, go into either the jungle or the desert, since either one of them will really work for this. When did I get the weak uh, uh, debuff? What just happened? What caused that? Huh. I don't know. Anyway, I'm gonna go set up our grinding spot and grind. So guys, this is the sort of grinding spot we had which was one of us is in a box just swinging this around to kill. Now, originally, he had built the box for fishing because it was, like, pretty much right out of jungle with some water. And, yeah, now it's pretty much just hold your yo-yo and attack. Anyway, I'm going to be grinding for, I think, pretty much as long as I can. And I'll cut back to you then.
So guys, it is almost morning on here, and I've collected even more gold. So I'm going to uh, put all of this up in our gold chest over here. But we still don't have the 30 we need. We're getting closer, though. So, what I think I'm going to do next is actually add a house on here because in between episodes we found a bound wizard named Berwin. But then, after I do that, I think we're going to wait till nightfall and fight and kill the Eye of Cthulhu a few times. And the main reason I want to do that is, one, to farm coins, and two, just in case I get a cool drop. Then, what I, then the next thing I want to fight is the Eater of Worlds again, because apparently one of its drops is something known as a Worm Scarf. Whoa, whoa, what's a Gold Squirrel? Wait a moment, I'm gonna have to... My net's in here, right? Yeah. I don't know what a gold gold squirrel is. What is it? Uh, gold squirrel? I would I assume you just sell it for a lot of gold. Because, well, it is made of gold. Hmm. Well, let's see. Holy! Yes! Okay. Alright, so, if we, uh, put these in here. Well, first, I'm going to have to make another silver coin. And then make another gold coin. But we have more than enough. So now we just need a wandering trader. And we have to hope that they have what we need. Either way, I'm going to build an extra layer on our house. And then pretty much pray that during that a wandering trader appears. And if not, then hopefully before or after the bosses. Anyway, I'm just going to go ahead and get started. Oh, look at that. A wandering trader appeared. So let's just hope that they have the orange zappinator. Uh, shot. No. No orange zappinator. Although I do like that. Alright. That, that's funny. I'm not gonna get it though, so. This wandering trader was pretty much a waste. Oh well. I'll just have to check every wandering trader we end up coming across. Anyway, let me just get right back. Alright guys, so Berwin the wizard is now up here. So let's see. What does he have? An empty dropper, a music box, a book, a spell tome, a heart, a bell, a greater mana potion, an ice rod, and a crystal ball. I don't know what any of those do, so for the moment I'm not going to buy any of them. However, that may change if I, you know, find out what they are. So I'm gonna go put some of my stuff away. And I'll get back to you. Alright, so I've put stuff up and grabbed our suspicious looking eyes. Now we just have to wait for nightfall. So until then, I'm just going to wander around. Alright, so I think it's almost nighttime. The merchant has departed. And let's just really quickly put this here. It is now 7, which I think is when you can... Oh, no, can't summon? Well, I'm just going to wait until I can. Alright, the Eye of Cthulhu has been summoned. And then I'm summoning in a second one. Then after we fight this one, I think I'm going to go on into the corruption during the day and fight in there, the worm. Oh, 
Also, let me just go ahead and say this. I decided to look up stuff for best weapons for pre-mechanical bosses, and lord, that, that stuff is expensive. Like, there's a reason we don't have it yet. Alright, well, that's that. I mainly did that just so we could get some more gold. And speaking of which, I actually wanted to do a quick reforge. Up here, yep. Because I want to reforge my pickaxe since it doesn't have anything on it. Superior? That would actually be really great if it were on from here. And then put this here. Let's see, sluggish. Uh, frenzying, no. Nimble, eh. Forceful. Eh, I guess I can have forceful. But that's enough of that. There's another girl, gold squirrel. Wow. Um, okay. Let me just get my stuff for it. Now, where is this golden squirrel? At the very least, I can sell the other versions too, but yep. This is the second gold, gold squirrel I found in just one day. Wonder why that is, huh? Anyway, I'm going to sell these really quick. Bye, bye, bye. I don't really need arrows. And I'm not sure about corrupt seeds or anything, so I'm going to keep them to be safe. But I do know demonite ore is useful. So I'm going to go ahead and put those in there. And then find our nature chest and deposit. Alright, now I'm pretty much just going to wait until morning and uh, go into the corruption. Alright, so it is morning. So, I'm gonna head over to the corruption, possibly break a few demon altars, then break the shadow orbs. And I don't want to break too many demon altars, just because I feel like if I break them all, then no more will show up and then we'll end up running out of them so we can't craft stuff at them but who knows it could just be me I, I might look up later to see if they just end up regenerating also as you can see the hallow has been expanding some so there's that and what even was it that i just got pixie dust yeah pixie dust wonder what that does hm. i don't know Anyway, I'm just gonna keep on heading this way. I'm going to start down here in the meteorite, just because that's one of the easier ways to get down here. Just going to make sure. So, now I gotta swap over to this hammer. And go. One. Two. I'm gonna get at least five. Three. Four. Five. I think that's good enough, because it leaves a lot of them left. And why are there things to suddenly attack? Okay, I'm gonna have to head home, because now there's a traitor here. <sighs> oh well. I'll just have to head back there in a bit. Let's see. <gasps> the orange zapinator. Let me go grab my stuff. I am going to get something that is simultaneously the best and worst weapon. Alrighty. And I only found out about the weapon from a video discussing the most broken weapon. Let's see, what else? A DPS meter? Why won't it let me buy? want to buy it. I can buy that. Oh wait, it's 50 gold? I thought it was 30. No. Oh no, I'm gonna have to go grind even more. Well, 
I'm gonna put this gold away, but oh, that hurts. That hurts. Because I was under the impression that it was only 30 gold. Oh well. Alright, so we are back in the corruption. So let me just hop down here. And I think that's Cobalt Ore right here. It is. There we go. We've got another achievement, extra shiny, from just, you know, mining a hard mode ore. I'm gonna have to swing my sword here, and then once those three are all dead, I can... Check this. Equip a pair of wings. Uh, well, problem is, I don't know how to get wings, but... Okay. Anyway, I'm just going to go ahead and mine down. That way I can break some of those uh, shadow orbs. Alright, we just need one more shadow orb and then we can fight the Eater of Worlds. So let me just... I'm probably going to light this up and fall. There we go. There seems to be a huge vein of cobalt over here, so I'm gonna mine that first really quick. But then, it's gonna be time to fight the Eater of Worlds. Alright, we got 56 more cobalt. We also ended up getting some purple ice. Is that purple guy? I don't know why that was just what suddenly popped in my head, but it was. Anyway, I'm gonna mine in here now. And then once we've m mined in here and broken the orb, either we get up to the surface or we just fight it down here again. Honestly, either works for me. Alright, let's see. Alright. Okay, let me just... Ah, uh, yes. Just hold my button and don't do anything else. Yes, that will just be great. Let me just stand here. Then I'm gonna go. Alright. Well, now he's just pretty much running directly into me. fight's gonna be, then it's gonna be way easier than I ever thought. Alright. Well, let's see. Uh, we didn't get the worm scarf like I wanted. However, what is a vile thorn? Ah, okay. That's okay, I guess. So, I guess I'm gonna have to summon yet another. Because I want the worm scarf. And honestly, at this point, I'm going to do whatever it takes to get it. So, I was killed by a worm feeder. I mean, world feeder. Whatever. But I dropped four gold coins. So, I'm gonna have to remedy that. Ugh. Okay, well, I'm just going to run over there, get my coins, and use this and head on out. Great, a traveling merchant departed. Uh, oh well. Hopefully next one will have enough. Either way, right now, I'm on the quest for the orange zappinator. Um, that's not good. It says I feel vibrations from deep below. Is one of the mechanical bosses going to spawn? Oh, oh, no, 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 no. This is not good. At all. I'm going to move out of the way. And if it says from deep below, I'm going to assume... No, I really can't assume whatever one I think it's... I think it is. 
I'm going to I'm going to guess it's going to be the destroyer, the pretty much uh, eater of worlds mechanical equivalent. But I'm just going to have to wait and see. So yeah, this is terrifying for me right now. The destroyer has awoken. Okay, not nice. What are those? Yeah, no, of course I died. I'm nowhere near ready yet. Oh. Lord. Yeah, I knew I couldn't defeat the mechanical bosses yet, but I didn't expect them to, to be that dangerous. Jesus! Ah. <sighs> well. Now I just know what I'm gonna have to eventually defeat. Yeah, 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 ghost, ghost, ghost. Whoa, what's the Dryad doing? What was she just doing then? Anyway, I need to go and get my coin from the uh, corruption. But then... I'll be back. What? All of a sudden I just fell off my mount, what? Oh, this is just going to be really annoying to get my stuff back. <sighs> you know what? I'll just deal with it. Alright, I finally got my coins back. So, I'm just going to put those all in there. And... Although, I know I don't have enough to get the Zappinator yet, I have a lot of stuff that I could sell. But, either way, I'm gonna just put up as much stuff as I can first. Alright, so, since I just got back and all that, I think I'm going to look for wherever I put my gold keys. I think I left at least two of them in here, yeah. And I think we're going to head on to the dungeon again. Because although I explored a little bit more last episode, I didn't really explore much. I'm also going to check what cobalt stuff we can make. Alright, now we have a lot more. Hmm. A cobalt pickaxe. Can mine the other two we need. Hmm. And a cobalt sword. Is pretty much the same as our current sword, maybe a little worse. Uh, hmm. I think I am going to get a cobalt pickaxe. And let's see. Ugh, we got an annoying one. Oh well. I'm not gonna reforge it because that would just waste some of our money that we're saving. So, anyway, I'm going to head over to the dungeon and see what we can find there. Alright, so we're here. And just really quick, I'm probably... Oh, uh, wait, I, never mind. I was about to say I'm probably going to climb up here and see if I can find another Sky Island, but uh, just realized I don't have the thing on me that lets me climb up. So, uh, that's a no-go. Anyway, I'm going to just head down till we find something we haven't explored yet, or didn't get to explore yet. So, we're in a new spot that I haven't explored at all. Oof. Oh well. I just haven't gotten in this room yet. Well, I've explored near here, though. Alright. Seems like this area is pretty much just really dangerous, like more dangerous than the rest. So, I'm gonna have to destroy all these guys. Probably start lighting up down there. Alright, let's see. We just unlocked that. And while it's relatively quiet. Oh, whoo, okay. Gonna take those and then swap the bombs out with that. I'm gonna put in all the stuff I don't need into here. Just to save 
some space in my inventory. Alright. Only reason I'm really keeping some of the stuff is because I don't know what it does. Okay. Um. Dang it. Ah. Uh, oh well. Let's see. Uh, once we respawn, I'm gonna look at my map and just check how much of that we've done. So, let's see. Yeah, this dungeon is pretty expansive. I'm probably going to head back over there and keep exploring. I think that for that, though, I'm not going to do it on camera because I don't feel the need to. I'm going to show you guys over here is where I sit and fish a lot of the time. And speaking of fishing, once I go get stuff, I think we're going to do an angler quest. I'm going to try and get in the habit of doing one every episode, and if an episode ends up taking more than a day to record, which so far no episode has, but just if, then I'm going to do as many angler quests as possible during that recording. Anyway, I'll cut back to once I'm in the dungeon. Whoa, 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 whoa. You guys saw that, right? There was a bit of rain there. Meaning, there had to be a cloud above it. So, let's see, can I get there just by flying straight up? No, I can't. Meaning, I have to find where I have any items that can be placed. Hmm, I don't have much. I'm going to head home, put stuff up, and then head there, because that was definitely something. Alright, so I've put up everything, and I'm going to grab, I think... Sand blocks? I don't know. I just need something to tower up. So this time I'm going to stay on the ground until I find that area again, because I think I know where it was. Maybe. And then I think... Maybe once I finish this episode, I might continue building our elevator down. Anyway, let's see. It was right here, yep. Time to just start towering. I'm only towering just because that's really the best way to gain height for me right now. So, let's see. Now is this high enough? It's high enough that you guys can see it, yep. Okay, why did it just suddenly push me off course? That was weird. Yeah, alright. Gotta land it. Nope, that's not landing it. There you go. So I'm just going to tower up even more. Alright, so we're up here, and it looks like it is just one of the lake ones, which I'm fairly disappointed at. What was that? Um. The wyvern, it has a lot of health. I am about to die. I am dead. Either way, it's good that we found another Sky Island. We just want to find another with a chest, is all. So I think what I'm going to do is actually get on that and then go as high as I can and explore around it, see if I can find any more. So, I'm going to quickly do that, and then report back to you. Uh, apparently I just got the achievement into orbit. So, there's that, apparently. Also, I really like the music here. Oh, okay, so there's another Sky Island up here. So that's nice to know. Hmm. What's it? Oh my god. From all the way over there, we end up at our house. Hmm, so let's see. Oh, okay. There's 
that? Huh. All of a sudden my B mount is acting different and now I can actually control it better. Weird. I mean, not complaining. Oh. It must be because of the gravity difference. Alright. Well, I'm just going to move to the side and see if I can find any more islands. I doubt it, but who knows. Oh, we found a wyvern. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and bring him down lower. still fun. Anyway, I think that's going to be it for this episode. So, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you all in another video. Goodbye!